Hi my rock stars how are you I know you're not happy I know you're not happy with your neat exam score but it's okay I'm going to tell you a few important things actually this video is going to help you in taking decision regarding taking a drop and your via mom is going to help you out for this and without wasting much time let's get started drop or not and i'm going to give some facts see i'm not going to influence i'm going to tell you i'm going to give some facts and based upon these facts you have to decide whether you have to take a drop or not okay so there are certain checklist we will start without wasting much time so you should not be taking drop if so the very first thing is if you have studied very well for the neat 2025 and in spite of studying so much if you couldn't do well that is if your score is let's say 400 or below that then let me tell you neat is not for you it doesn't mean that you're not intelligent you're not smart it doesn't mean that uh, uh, you know you're not good it it is, it is it doesn't mean that it means that you have some better opportunity you have something better than mbbs because there are lot of courses there are lot of career opportunity where you can do excellent compared to that of an mbbs candidate compared to that of a mbbs doctor so maybe god maybe the nature is you know allowing you or maybe the nature is uh, you know uh, giving that opportunity for you maybe something else is waiting for you so if you have prepared very well for neat exam still if you could haven't done well please don't your please don't waste your another year okay as a as an elder sister as a mentor as your beloved teacher i would like to suggest this okay and the second point is if it is your third drop fourth drop i'm not kidding many of my students have taken third and fourth drop and i try telling them please don't take another drop please don't but still they are clinging to that neat exam they are clinging uh, you know they are stuck in that they are like no neat is uh, mbbs is my dream that's my dream profession you can do equally or you can even do better by studying some other courses so don't stick to just mbbs don't just stick to this neat exam so if if it is your third or fourth drop my genuine request I know I'm not supposed to say this. <laughs> we have a batch coming up. I'm not supposed to say this because we have to sell the uh, batch as well, right? But still, I I have I am really concerned about such students of mine who are taking third and fourth drop. That is why I'm saying, please don't take whatever the reason it was. If it is your third or fourth drop, don't just don't live it. You have better opportunity, okay? And I am going to guide you. I'm going to tell you which are the different opportunities. we are doing well in our life even though uh, we haven't written neat exam i'm not a mbbs doctor but still i'm doing excellent compared to that of you know uh, mbbs doctor so i am going to help you i'm going to tell you what are the different opportunities that you uh, you know have or that uh, different courses that you can do which is very similar to that of mbbs and the third pointer is if you are okay to do bds bms bnys bpt so these are different opportunities that you have so don't take drop if you have put lot of effort for your neat exam but did not do well and if you are okay to take up these courses which are very you know uh, which has which has got immense opportunity lot of opportunity maybe i shouldn't say this maybe a just an mbbs doctor wouldn't be able to earn as much as somebody who has done bnys course which is a yogic science course which is a bpt is a physiotherapy course bms is an ayurvedic uh, course like M just like mbbs uh, bms is ayurvedic doctor bpt is a yogic science naturopathy doctor and uh, bds is a dentist lot of dentists are earning more than uh, mbbs uh, you know candidate yes you to know about that so if you are okay to do these courses just leave mbbs just take up the courses that you are getting through your need score okay now who has to take a drop like who is supposed to take a another year drop for the neat exam preparation <clears throat> lot of students they take uh, you know some exams for granted maybe because of immaturity or maybe because of 
uh, that you know uh, when, when you are just twelve standard when you have got that CBSE uh, exams to write and many other things happening in your life you might ignore the need syllabus and maybe you did not do well because you did not study so if it is your first drop or maximum maximum if it is a if it is your second drop maybe for some reason what happens is like sometimes some students would be falling ill and uh, next year some other problem would be coming so if it is your first or second drop then you can think of taking a drop okay but not more than that like if you are if you are the one who is if if it is your third drop then please don't take take up the drop again and if your only goal is mbbs in government college then you have to take a drop because you should be scoring around 600 650 um uh, this year 550 would be i don't i'm not very sure about the cut off but some say even 550 is enough to get mbbs uh, seat in government college i'm not sure about it however so the actual score that you're supposed to get is 600 650 so that should be your need score to get uh, mbbs in government medical colleges so if your only goal of your life if you are like no i do not want to see anything i just need to be an mbbs doctor if i just crack mbbs if i if i just get uh, mbbs uh, seat that is sufficient in my life rest everything my family takes care or we have a uh, you know hospitals family hospital where i can work if that is your goal then you can take another drop as well okay and the last one is you can take a drop <laughs> it's quite funny if you are good at physics too so this year many of many of the mentors influencers teachers are saying neat exam neat 2025 was difficult out of ncert came in biology first of all let me tell you out of ncert did not come in biology uh, some question came out of ncert but how can you expect to uh, you know how can how can you expect uh, you know uh, nta to give ncert lines only they they would uh, definitely give something around ncert but not always directly from ncert you know so this is expected okay and physics was out of uh, i mean many of the student many of the students also teachers said that physics was very difficult it was similar to that of je mains my uh, i just want to remind you guys just 2 3 years before if you open the neat exam uh, you know the what is that if, if you open the neat uh, question paper you would be finding physics questions which is being very similar to that of je mains so usually je mains teachers used to teach for the neat physics as well and neat physics teachers used to teach for je mains so this is the actual standard of neat exam this is not your um, board exam in a simple manner to say okay we we are producing doctors so when you are studying mbbs you have to remember 10x than what you have what you are studying right now okay so you should be quite good at physics too to crack neat exam and if you want to take another drop so these are criteria to take a drop or not to take a drop now you can decide what you want and my genuine suggestion not as a teacher not as a teacher of physics wala as a mentor of yours as a beloved teacher of yours my suggestion is don't cling to neat or mbbs don't go to take fifth fourth seventh drop mbbs is my ultimate goal don't have that mindset and i hope this video hel is helpful let's meet in the next class next video until then bye bye